Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In one of my project, I faced one problem which I can't solve with the data model because the data model was already in perfect shape. Then how will we meet the user requirement? So to solve that, I have used treat as function and it helps me to display the slicer values from one unrelated table. Let me show you how I have done that. For this purpose, I have just created one sample data set. Let me import that data set. Just I have created the one Excel book. Click on this file and open. I am going to import these three tables. Now these three tables have been imported. So I will change the aggregation rule for all these fields because I am going to use this as a dimension field. So first select the category number and change this. You can repeat the process for all other fields except the value field. For this value, I am going to change the aggregation sum to average. Now we are going to check the data model first. Let us go to the model section and check, okay, this support table is connected with the dimension table and this fact and dimension connected and we have the key is connect prod. So our data model is properly saved. Now I'm going back to the report section and first I'm going to create two slicers, okay. First slicer will be based on this system number. Let me change to this slicer as a list and change the property as a single select. Okay. Now I am going to create another slicer. Let me select the slicer view and for that I will select this category number, product number and sub product. Okay. Now I am going to create one report. Category. Okay. Now uh, let me select this product number and this value. Now my report is fine. But till now you don't find any problem. But let me show you one thing. Let me create one simple report with the system number and the category number from this table. Now for this system number there are four categories. But if you select 502, there we have only two category number. But in this slicer, we can observe it is displaying all the four values because it is coming from this support table. Now this sub product number, it's not available in this dimension table, okay? But which I need to display in this slicer. Then how will I solve the problem? Now a user wants to display this category value, product value number and sub product number in the similar way. Now whenever I am going to select any system number corresponding that system number, the total number of category will be displayed. That means only two category will be displayed here, not the four. Then how we can solve this issue? For that purpose, what I have done in the fact table, I am going to create one new measure, give some name, filter unrelated table because these two fact tables are not related directly. That's the reason. So first use calculate within bracket. I am going to use count rows, count rows of this support table first and comma keep filters within the bracket treat as function now within the treat as function i'm going to use values of this connect prod of this fact table close the bracket comma this connect prod of this support table because 
this treat as function will be use the first table expression as a filter for this another table or you can say another unrelated table. So close the bracket and close the other bracket just check carefully whether you have given all the closing bracket or not ok. Now save this function. Now this function is going to return the number of rows which are matching with this table and with this unrelated table ok. Now just come out from this and select this slicer, go to this filter section, drag and draw and select is greater than 0, apply filter. See, now we can get only 1 and 2. For this 502 system number, I have only this category number 1 and 2. For 501, it is displaying all the values and 502, it is displaying only two values. So, I feel this treat as function is treating us in a very efficient way to solve the issue and meet the user requirement. I hope you like this video and you can use these tricks in your project. Thank you. Thanks for watching.